Welcome back to the November issue of The Banter. I've got here with me Mike. Hang on a second. That's not Mike. Hey, you don't need Mike. You got what me? What are you doing here? Well, I, I was invited. Really? Okay, I didn't see you on the invite list, but hey. Well, if you're going to be here, tell us what you're doing here. <laughs> Whatever you need me to do, Tim. That's my new job description. Well, we've got Chad here this week because Mike's obviously over in Singapore. It's a bit hard to put a hologram of Mike here, so we thought we'd bring Chad onto the couch and just have a chat to him this month. I personally think it's an improvement. <laughs> Love you, Mike. So anyway, tell us what's been happening in your week anyway. Well, last week was great. We actually uh, launched our first series of webinars. And so Melissa was sharing with our clients and uh, just people in our network about the power of Facebook and YouTube and how you should re really be creating content for those platforms. And then uh, before that, I've been in the US actually for a couple of weeks. Yeah, great. That's interesting. Just back on the, uh, the content, I, I know Mike's new mantra at the moment is, is KED. Content, content every day, and this this new mini series is part of that series, isn't it? Absolutely, we're definitely looking at the business, going, what can we be putting out every single day that's really going to add value to uh, to our network? So I know you're moving over to the US in the next few months. Um, how are you feeling? Feeling really good. Like uh, the family and I are super pumped about heading over there. And you know, I was just recently there a few weeks ago for Ad Tech in New York, yeah. and uh, got to hang out with some of the team that's based in the US, as well as bring some guys from here and. It was really, really interesting to talk to a lot of um, fantastic brands over there about their video content. Mm. And the trend that I kept seeing there was that these are big global brands that have in-house video teams and the biggest pain point they have right now is how do we scale that content uh, regionally? Because they understand the power of video and the importance of it, but then they're getting demands from all their offices, you know, even in country or in other countries, and they're figuring out how can we create consistently branded content you know, around the world for our company. That's really cool that we actually have the same problems and challenges that we face over here in the US. So I guess it's just on a bigger scale over there. Absolutely, so I'm, I'm really excited about building shoots over there. I think there's a lot of fantastic opportunities. Yeah, that's awesome, good to hear. And I ate a lot of Mexican food, yes. uh, which was good. Did a little bit of shopping, <laughs> which was I nice heard you went too. to the Apple store, bought some merchandise. I Well, I did get kitted up with, uh, with Apple merch, which was fun. <laughs> also went to the Lego store for my kids. They yeah, love that cool, as well. Cool. Now it sounds like a great way. It was good to get the team together and um, yeah, and just just see everything that's happening in New York. Yeah, definitely. We're really excited about what we're going to do next year. Yeah, good to hear. I'll miss you though. <laughs> well, that's okay because I'm going to be heading over to the U.S. You and are. Uh, we'll come and check in, yeah, just yeah. make sure things are happening and things but are you're, going. But you're actually heading there what next week, right? Yeah, I'm off to Vegas next week actually. That's a work trip, right? Yes. When you take a whole bunch of money and put it on black. Does that consider being a It's work? an alternative to a next round of funding, man. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Who needs to raise capital when you can go to a casino? Exactly. Good plan. <laughs> yeah, the Vegas trip's going to be fun. We're off to, uh, well, I'm off to um, Amazon's Global Summit. Big tech conference. Lots to do with machine learning, AI, AR, cloud delivery, video in the cloud. Lots of, lots of tech, cool tech stuff. And there's, yeah. there's something like 300 sessions spread over five days. And I haven't chosen to go to 300. I was going to say, that's going to keep you busy. <laughs> it is, yeah. From dawn, sun up to sundown, it's going to be learn, learn, learn. So, yeah, I've got about oh, a few dozen sessions that I'm going to, but I'm hopefully going to get a lot of information on, yeah, wh what we can do to scale up video delivery through the cloud and, and use all this cool stuff that Amazon's building these days to, to really improve the hub. So where do you see uh, the most opportunities there in that, that sort of space? Uh, AI, AR, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, AI is, uh, is a really interesting one. We're looking at all sorts of apps um, at the moment to, to help us grab content, sort through content, and, and make a finished product for us. Um, and that's all sort of stuff in, in beta at the moment and things we're trying to scope out. But the real, the real exciting thing at the moment, I think, is, is AR. And with the new iPhone 10 that was just released a few weeks ago, AR, kind of, it's built into the actual um, iOS and, and built into the phone. Um, and there's so many good applications we can use AR for. And we've been talking about one in-house in recently about opening the kit and pointing AR at it. And a little virtual Chad pops up. And Obviously. Because, <laughs> I mean, that's what every kit's been missing, right? That's right, a virtual Chad. <laughs> and he says, hey, look, check out this tripod. And uh, the little virtual Chad picks up the tripod and tells you all about the tripod or the camera or whatever it happens to be in there. But really gamifying the, the training sort of process in the kit and, and using AR to, to, to utilize that. It's so interesting because I think with AR, you know, people look at the video industry, right? Mm. And they go, okay, video content looks like this. 
And I think drawing the connections between that and AR and augmented reality is, is very interesting how it can change so many different industries. Mm -hmm. And I love that we're looking at it, you know, future casting over the next couple of years going, how can we take these emerging technologies and improve the yeah. customer experience? Yeah, definitely. It is all about uh, yeah, using the, improving the customer service for us at the moment because that is the biggest challenge that we, we have is continual ongoing education, Re reinventing what we're doing and making it more engaging for the for the client to actually get the training. So, yeah, AI is going to be a good one. So, yes, Vegas is going to give us all the information we need, and we're going to build AR and move forward with well, it. I'm excited to hear the report when you get back. Mm, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, guys, that's all from us. Uh, look forward to talking to you next month. Yeah, take care. Cheers.